Namaste. I have already discussed about different resources of business. These resources are very important to, to get predetermined goal or objective of the business. Without these different resources, we cannot do anything in the business. So basically, there are four types of different resources. Human resource, financial resource, physical resource, and technological resources. <clears throat> Yeah, on the basis of these resources, we can set our vision, set our goal, objective as well. I have already mentioned about strategic fit. On the basis of available different resources, we can set the objectives, rules, and regulations, and we can manage properly all things. The very important thing is that if we managed by objective, management by objective, that is the very important management rule, management strategy, it is, it is the approach how to manage different types of human resources and how to get predetermined goal. So today I am going to discuss about only human resource management. What is human resources? What are the human resources? How human resources are managed? And how human resources are very important everywhere to get objective of the business. Yeah, I'm going to start by the help of a very important quotation. Weak people, weak people revenge. Strong people forget, forgive, and intelligent people ignore. So simply we can say that human resource management is a process of managing, arranging all the human resources from top to bottom, from uh, recruitment selection process Two different steps, and the final step is retirement of human resources. All the steps, the very important thing is that there are different four components of human resource management. The first one is acquisition. Second one is development, motivation, and maintenance. And these four human resource component are very important thing. First of all, we have to, to, acquire, acquire, we have to, to uh, collect different applicants from application from different applicants. Yeah, we have to open vacancy. On the basis of vacancy, then we have to recruit, we have to select, we have to replacement, we have to transfer, different process are needed in the business. So then the development program of different human resources is a very important thing. We have to provide different types of trainings on the basis of time. I have already mentioned time, relationship, and contract are very important thing. Samaya, Sammandara, Sampar. Yet these three words, are very important and related to human resources. Then how to motivate? Motivation is the very important thing. So there are different techniques to motivate human resources. Basically, on the basis of skill, on the basis of knowledge, on the basis of quality, if we recruit, if we select, if we placement, and if we provide a sound and better environment to human resources, then automatically they will motivate and they will get the objective properly. They will commit it. If there is no sound, no goods, no better environment, then human resources cannot do anything. So after the motivation, we have to uh, 
change from one place to another place. That is what we call rotation. Yeah, on the basis of level of human resources, top level, middle level, and low level, low level human resources. On the basis of time, we have to change, we have to rotate, we have to transfer from one department to another department. Then the promotion is needed. The retention is a very important part of human resources. The retention is totally depends on the management, skill management, to, to techniques of different leadership or the environment of business organization. So there are four components I mentioned. On the basis of these components, now in present case, there is a very difficult to manage human resources because all the human resources are from different areas, different territories, different ethics, different culture. And within boundary of the business, we have to lead, we have to motivate, we have to control on the basis of system. But it is too challenging to motivate the human resources, to commit it, how to commit all the human resources to our objectives of business organizations. So in present case, there are different challenges. These challenges, very, very important challenges, contemporary recent trend in human resource management. The first one is hard and soft approach to management, to human resource management. Yeah, the leader has lead on the basis of time, relationship, and contract, and need of uh, organizations as well. Yeah, there are different techniques, different um, leadership strategy, democratic leadership strategy, autocratic, legislature. They are different situational leadership style. So on the basis of situation, on the basis of context, we have to we have to follow the different techniques, different leadership style as well. So sometimes we have to follow hard approach of human resources, strict rules and regulations. Sometimes we have to soft. So parallelly we have to go with with the span of time where we have to implement hard approach and where we have to implement soft approach. Then this is a very important for human resource manager, at our management, at our department, at our leadership. The second one is very important thing is that diversified human resources. How we manage the diversity, how we provide the training to different cross-cultural human resources. That is the very challenge in present era. So we can say that on the basis of rules, regulations, and systems, we have to manage all diversified human resources, and we can provide the training on the basis of need of the human resources. We have to develop on the basis of time, recruitment and selection co time, enough time knowledge known success enough to skill now on success, then we have to provide the training, how to enhance the level, capacity, confident of different human resources that we have to think. So the, now in present era, the talent management is a very, very important and very challenging part of human resource management. It is emerging challenges. Yeah, if we are unable to manage the talents of different level of human resources, then there is no retention. For the retention purpose, yeah, we have to we have to manage the talents of different level of human resources, how they are talent, how their skills knowledge is is very important, and how we can use for accomplishment of uh, predetermined goal of the business. If we are unable to manage this talents of different human resources, then we will not retain our skilled and our qualified human resources forever in the business. So then the very important thing is that competency mapping. Yeah, it is the important. All the human resources are not equally committed. 
all human resources have not the same and equal confidence, skill, talent, knowledge. On the basis of the knowledge, skills, we have to map with the, the goal, motive of our organization. If we are unable to match or map the skills and objective, placement and, and skill, right men on the basis of right place, on the basis of right skill and quality and education, if we are unable to recruit and select, then there is a problem of problem of competency mapping. So on the basis of the skill, on the quality, on the basis of the result which is given by human resources that we have to promote. Reward and punishment is the very important part of human resource management. And the second one, next one is outsourcing of human resource professionals. Yeah, now in present era, it is very important and challenging as well. In market, there are so competitive trends. So this competition, we can manage and we can compete with our skilled human resources because all other resources are worthless without skilled human resources because all other resources are totally depends on the human resources. Then human resources are very, very important to, to monitor, to control, uh, to supervise the different things of organizations. And human resources must be managed by other human resources. So if there is bias, if there is a lack of confidence, lack of commitment, lack of accountability and responsibility, we cannot manage properly. So outsourcing pani, it is a kind of challenges. The challenges like I manage manage we have to provide better environment, better facilities, and promotion is needed. And the next one is downsizing and layoff is a very challenging. Recruited and selected human resources may not be built. Because due to different external factors. So this is a challenge now in, 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 in human resource management. <clears throat> the next one is healthy workplace or work environment. Creation of healthy work environment is also a kind of <laughs> challenge. They have to create sound and better environment for management of different human resources. So th there are different challenges, different opportunities on the basis of these challenges and these opportunities, we have to maintain a sound and reliable environment in the business organizations. Then we can manage it properly. If environment is not better, not sound, we are unable to retain our human resources forever. So the recruitment selection is not an important part. Before recruitment and selection, we have to manage our inventory human resources. Inventory human resources ko base ma hamile chai recruitment selection garnu parne huncha. Yadi garna sakyau bhane then the positive environment create saksa. I internal sources like negligence garde, within the outsources, but human resources recruitment selection garna koji bani, there may be conflict. If there is a conflict in, in organization between and among different human resources, that is very dangerous. But somehow conflict is a better, conflict is a better for getting better result. But if the conflict is increase and increase and increase, then finally it is a very disaster. So that should be managed on the basis of a need of organizations. Hire and fire is the important part of human resources. Sometimes we fire and sometimes we hire to minimize 
the conflict between among of different human resources. So by using different techniques, because already I mentioned, every human resources has not same idea, same skill, same knowledge, same education background, same culture, same ethics. So on the basis of system of organization, all human resources must be followed, must be bounded within this system, and then we will get our objectives. Thank you very much. Thank you.